Hi friends, it's Thursday again. It's Pastor Karen with a Thoughtful Thursday. Um, so we have completed our kind of dive into the fruit of the Spirit and I hope that um, you are still thinking about all of the ways that God is growing those, um, that fruit in your life, that fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Um, if you missed any of the past Thoughtful Thursdays and want a little review about what we talked about in the Fruit of the Spirit, you can just go back in YouTube or back on Facebook and, um, and search on Thoughtful Thursday and hopefully you can um, either listen to them again or just be reminded of how God is working in each one of us um, to grow that Fruit of the Spirit. So this week um, I just had been feeling un, kind of just a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Um, I'm sure that we are all on this same roller coaster with the quarantine and COVID and all of the um, racial injustice that we're seeing on the news and in our neighborhoods. And, um, and I just was feeling a little bit like heavy. I was just feeling like there's just really so much heaviness and everything just seems so complicated, right? It's it's not even easy to go to the Acme or to Target or even to work, right? It's not even easy just to consider getting your hair cut, which clearly I have not done. Um, it's not easy to think about what it is that school is gonna look like, whether you're headed to college or high school or elementary school, or you're worried about your kids going to college or high school or elementary school. It just feels like everything is so complicated. And maybe, unfortunately, you might even be layering on that um, unemployment um, or the potential for unemployment, or maybe your job was furloughed and, and now you're wondering if you're gonna get it back. Um, and then, of course, all just the racial injustice. Are we seeing that in our own neighborhoods? Are we seeing that in our churches? Are we seeing that in our families? Are we concerned about who and what um, who is going to talk to our kids about what when they just go to the park um, and so there's just really um, so much heaviness and I, I just thought oh my goodness I just was hopeful that something would just feel easy and I was praying to God this week about about that heaviness and that just how life feels so complicated right now and nothing really feels quite so natural um, and for those of you who know me, you know that um, music really speaks to me. And for those of you who don't know me, music really speaks to me. Um, and so I feel like God gave me a reminder. A reminder that Jesus told us that when we have faith like children, that is where we get our blessing. When we have faith like children. And I thought, oh, if we could only be kids, right? They seem to have it so easy. They just want to hang out with their friends. They just want to have a good time in the summer, play in the pool. And I thought, how do we have faith like children? And because music is so important to me, my head automatically went to those amazing songs that we learned as kids, right? Whether um, we learned them in Sunday school or vacation Bible school or summer camp. Um, maybe we learned them on a video that we had that played in our living room as we were growing up. Um, I thought maybe today we could just share a couple of those songs and maybe just the reminder of how we felt when we were kids or maybe how we feel when we're around kids um, would just bring some lightness um, not to be confused with the strong biblical truth that is in so many of these songs right and I think when we talk about that the first song that comes to my mind and sing along with me if you know this song but the B-I-B-L-E yes that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God the B-I-B-L-E. So I remember singing that as a kid, but not really understanding about how true that is, right? That we stand alone on the word of God. And scripture, again, remember, tells us that Jesus wants the little children to come to him. Jesus says, bring them to me, right? And that reminds me of the song, Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red and yellow black and white they are precious in his sight jesus loves the little children of the world all the children 
even those of us that think we're not kids anymore, that Jesus sees us um, hopefully having the faith of children. John 8, chapter 12 says, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Sometimes when things feel so complicated, we feel like we're walking in darkness. Like, is there even a light at the end of the tunnel, God? Is there even something that's going to feel a little bit better? And that reminds me of that amazing song that goes, This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And you can sing all the other hundred verses that we have um, to that song. And then we go into Acts and we hear Peter says to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the Holy Spirit. Such complicated, strong words, right? But as kids, what did we sing? I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T and I will L-I-V-V-E-L yeah you sing the tongue twister I'm not gonna redo it um, so you know, if you can sing it post it at the bottom of this video and um, and let's hear how we do that the end of that song but I am a Christian right and as kids we sang that as fast as we could and somehow we didn't get our tongues tied up like I did but that truth that Jesus just asks us to say and be believers in him and we will get the gift of the Holy Spirit. Isn't that a great gift? And then of course John 3:16, right? A verse that seems like everybody knows, maybe whether they're Christians or not, knows that it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever should believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved us so loves us actually and I think this next song um, really can be an anthem for our faith an anthem that when things feel so complicated when we feel so down when we feel like things are so heavy and we're looking for some light or some something to be easy or something to be lifted from us that we can sing this beautiful song that I know that you all know so sing along with me Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, I feel better already just singing a couple verses of those really awesome songs that just bring joy to my heart. And there are so many other ones. So if you want to comment below on all the awesome VBS or Sunday school or church camp songs that, um, that might have brought you joy, maybe someone else will be reminded of those great songs as well. And extra bonus points if you post a video of you singing them. Um, you can mess up the words like I did. That's okay, too. So I'll be praying for everyone this week that we feel a little levity. That maybe life this week doesn't quite feel so heavy and so com complicated and so cumbersome. That we will have the light and that we will be reminded that Jesus loves us, all of us. Have a great week, my friends. Amen.